bat. It's like a sauna out here. <laughs> Will you come and switch this thing off? It's nearly finished, Del. Do you want to put anything else in it? Yes, your head. <laughs> Have you ever noticed how cold our bathroom is? Yeah, yeah, it does get a bit taters in there after a while, doesn't it, eh? When you're in there, right, do you ever get a feeling that you're not alone? I mean, like as if there's somebody in there with you? Yeah. What a sort of strange feeling. Yeah. Like as if you're being watched? Yeah. No, why do you? <laughs> no, no. Who am I? Oh, it's, it's Albert. Reckons it's possessed. P possessed? Do me a favour. Give us a couple of months, it might be repossessed if you like. <laughs> oh, dear. Elsie <laughs> Partridge thinks our bathroom's haunted. <laughs> haunted? Stop it, will you? You hurt me. Elsie Partridge is a medium. Is she? Well, you better whip that round to an end. <laughs> That'll fit her a treat, that will, I'll tell you. I'm not talking about her dress size. She's a spiritualist. She can contact the departed. So it's probably where she pulled you. <laughs> she has powers, Del. She's one of the true communicators. Back in the early 60s, she used to hold regular meetings in that hall above John Collier's. People come from miles around to listen to Elsie. They paid thousands of pounds to use her powers of communication. Yeah, I think there's more to this occult like than meets the eye, Del. Do me a favour, Rodders. No self-respecting ghost is going to haunt our bathroom, is it? <laughs> Especially after he's been in there. 